Today, we're going to be checking out new capabilities in Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, and show you new capabilities that you can take advantage of if you've got Copilot for Microsoft 365. And if you haven't already, then not to worry, because these five features will help you understand whether it's for you. So before we dive in, I'd like to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, TeamFlect, who provide leading performance management software to improve the way that you manage your team, and it's even built on top of Microsoft Teams. So let's dive into Copilot and see what those new features can bring to you. So our first Copilot change is in Microsoft Outlook. Here I am using a new version of Microsoft Outlook. And as we've also described previously, there was a capability in Copilot to draft messages and more. But now we have a new option. On the right hand side of your Outlook app, you'll find a Copilot icon. If you go ahead and open up that dialog, you'll now get a new Copilot sidebar inside of Outlook that can also control what goes on in Outlook and do more as well. For example, you may want to create a new mail rule to be able to move or categorize emails depending on different scenarios. I know Copilot can do that for you. Let's go ahead and add a prompt into Copilot and show an example of that. And I've now given Copilot a prompt to create an inbox rule to categorize emails from Alex Wilbur and mark them as read. And here you can see that Copilot has now came up with that action and added it as a category that I can now refine or just go ahead and save. So Copilot can now work with Outlook and change categories and more. And another use of this sidebar can be finding out all important information across your emails, documents and more. I'm working on Project Green Space and I need the latest update. And through Outlook, I can do exactly that. Let's go and ask Copilot to find out the most recent information on Project Green Space. And we can see that Copilot's now identified the relevant information. It's found out that I had a catch up organized, that also there was an agenda, which included an additional spend and more, all coming from across all of my files, across Teams, SharePoint, and in Outlook. So now you can simply ask for updates on your project through the Copilot sidebar inside of Outlook. And now there's new changes in Microsoft Forms. Previously, we could create new forms like surveys, but we couldn't create any quizzes but not anymore. With the help of Copilot, we can now generate quizzes. Let's go ahead in Forms and select a new quiz. And inside of Forms, we can now see we have a draft with Copilot dialogue up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a prompt in so we can create a quiz for high school students around a particular topic. With our prompt added into Copilot, we're now gonna be creating that quiz for high school students aged between 14 and 15 years of age focused on programming languages and how they're used across IT systems and their importance. And also would be handy to focus on mobile application development. And I want four answers for each of these questions. With that now added into Copilot, we'll see live on the screen that Copilot begins now to create our quiz that we can use with our students. And our quiz is now completed. We have 10 different questions here that have taken less than 30 seconds to get created in Copilot. I could also fine tune this by asking for further information or detail, but I'll go ahead and select keep it. With that now done, we now have our quiz completed and ready to go. But we can also have further suggestions to help our form or our quiz. Let's left click at the top and Copilot will analyze our quiz, providing the relevant designs that we could use to support this quiz further. Let's go ahead and use this, which brings the formatting and a design into our quiz. When we're ready, Go ahead and select collect new responses and then copy the link. We'll see they can now use that quiz and begin to test their knowledge. So a quiz created in less than a few minutes with the help of Copilot on a particular topic that I needed to focus on. Getting started with these new Copilot features is really important, but as is managing your team. So if you're struggling to manage your team effectively, why not check out today's video sponsor, TeamFlect. TeamFlect provides software built on top of Microsoft Teams, allowing easy access and tracking of your one-to-one -one meetings, 360 feedback, employee onboarding and more. You can find out more in the video description below on TeamFlect with a handy way to get started for free if you have less than 10 users. So other than that, let's dive back into Copilot and see what else is new. And there's some cool changes in Microsoft Copilot in Word. You can now summarize documents up to 80,000 words, which is great. But also I found improvements in generally how we can work with Copilot. In previous videos, I've shown it creating documents from scratch, but it wasn't so good at rewriting particular areas. But here we can now do that inside of Word. 
For example, this area here, this section or paragraph, can now be rewritten, and that won't make any changes to the wider document. By highlighting the content, we can select the Copilot icon, and we can then select Make Changes. We can now draft the change that we'd like to see, and Copilot will rewrite that accordingly. I've now asked Copilot to make this a high level summary of the document findings, and we'll now see it rewrites this paragraph and section all relating to that area. We can now see this new area that Copilot has added in. Now, of course, that's one way we could change that content, but there's another option we can change this text and get a few options. By again selecting the Copilot icon and now selecting Auto Rewrite, it'll rewrite the content and give me a few versions to look over. Here's version one version two, and version three. So we can now have Copilot rewrite content automatically. And once again, we can now go and change the tone by moving it from neutral to more concise. We can then regenerate and again provide further rewrites. So no longer do we have to draft the whole document with Copilot. We can now target specific areas in a document and have Copilot help us out with that. And there's now improvements in how Excel works with Copilot. Inside of our Copilot sidebar in Excel, I've asked Copilot to add a column that combines the start date and end date. We can then see on the right hand side that Copilot now provides both the formula that will be used and also show a preview of that directly inside of the Copilot sidebar, showing you what output will be created without you inserting the column as yet. If you're happy, you can also hover over insert column we can see on the screen that it also shows, and when you then remove, you will no longer see it, once again providing a preview. By selecting Insert Column, we now have a new column for implementation period, which is a great way to now work with Copilot. We can also have Copilot show suggestions for other formulas. Here it's also identified that a cost overrun would be pretty useful inside of our table of data. So let's go ahead and add this column in to show the cost overrun affected the difference between the budgeted and the actual cost, which is helpful to have inside of our table of data. And you can now see that Copilot can also apply further formatting to cells. Here I've asked it to create a heat format in the cost overrun column. And that's not actually an Excel function. Instead, it's a color scale. But Copilot has identified the meaning or the reasoning of what I'm looking for and now recommended color scales. And now we can apply it into the data itself. And there we go, we've now applied a very simple color scale with just a question into Copilot. So Copilot can do a lot more in Excel when it comes to formatting and formulas that we didn't see before in the earlier versions of Copilot in Excel. And in PowerPoint, there's now changes to the way that we can work with files. Because often clients and suppliers will send you PDF files, they won't send you Word documents. And now inside of Copilot for PowerPoint, we can use PDF files to create presentations from. So simply selecting Create here, I can now choose from this dropdown of files I've worked with, noting a PDF file at the top, which is a third party PDF report. Let's go ahead and submit that into Copilot and have this data used to create our new presentation. So you've now taken content from a PDF file of 58 pages and converted it into this PowerPoint file here, which is taking minutes to do, including all the content summarized and ready to be used in one of our next meetings. So what do you think of these five brand new features? Personally, my favorite is the Outlook sidebar. It doesn't sound like much, but having the ability to have a chat with Copilot and understand where your files are, or get updates on projects, and even now create new rules for Outlook is pretty powerful, and it means we don't have to keep switching apps into Teams to ask questions of Copilot. But I'd love to know what you think and your comments on these new capabilities. And of course, if you'd like today's video, hit that like button and subscribe for more great content like this too. And a big thank you to Team Flect, today's video sponsor. If you want to find out more about Team Flect, you'll find more information in the video description below. So otherwise, well, you'll be seeing me in the next one.